what is the kind of the the impetus of being vegetarian rather than vegan? Ooh, interesting. So actually, recently I've I've stopped. I, I haven't. I don't eat eggs, okay. um, and I've like I'm also lactose intolerant, so I basically <laughs> don't drink milk yeah, either. Yeah. Um, yeah. No, I think I think um, what I'm. I think I think the, the impetus for me, at least for I mean, eggs was easy, an easier decision for me. Sure. Uh, but I think the impetus for me for being vegetarian is like, what would I be able to do to like if I was to ha- if I had to make my own food every sure. day, would sure. I be able to do it? Right. And you know, obviously, with like plants, it seems pretty. I, I have no like moral, um, you know, I don't have a uh, a problem with that. Right. Now, the product itself, when it comes to like milk, I don't think I have a problem with. My ancestors like lived in India, and they like a lot of them even own cows like now, sure. right? Sure. And so like I can imagine relationships with cows that are like productive and like you know can be mutualistic in my opinion you right. know where like you have a cow you give it the proper love that it deserves uh, and and maybe I mean I think perhaps I, I hadn't done so much thinking until recently about how the industry has been really exploited in you know in in the products that I buy yeah. um, but you know at home the milk that we drink is like farm is like from the local farm and yeah. you know we've like visited and it seems like that's that's a place that you know we like trust and right. and and, and, and so going back to what I was saying, like I can imagine myself being that farmer and like right. treating the animal that way. Yeah. Um, and just, just and to, so, yeah. Just to interject quickly, do you think that, that drinking cow's milk is natural for humans? Do you think that's what the, the milk's there for? Well, okay, so I think that's that's maybe not, um, I don't know, I'm not sure that I like... Um, well, why does not, a cow produce milk? Well, okay, I mean, it produces milk because like, it produces milk for its for its child, right? Yes. Um, but I think I'm not sure that that's um, especially relevant because you might say that like, why do we like grow grass? Well, we grow ga- grass for the cow, or we do we grow it for ourselves? You mentioned the word dignity earlier, mm-hmm. and do you think that the, the way that we exploit animals removes them of that dignity and, and I guess autonomy as well that they that they deserve? Yes. Yeah. It it completely does. Yeah. Um, yeah. Are you, are, you, are you vegan? I am, yeah. <laughs> I, I could tell, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> um, yeah it's, it's very recent for me. Um, so mainly, like, the, the way things have been going for me is I've, I've been, like, cooking all of my meals, you yeah. know, vegan at home. Right. Um, and sometimes that's, that's harder, you know, when I'm out with friends and that sort of thing. But I'm, sure, I, sure. I'm you know, improving as much as I can. And so one of the, the final questions would be, what, what do you think is high value? Um, say taste or, or life? Definitely life, Definitely yeah. Life. <laughs> and, and, and would you yourself say that w- when you when you buy these products, you, you you sometimes don't have an awareness of of what happens to the animals, and so you kind of do so with a, it's not like an eased conscience, but because it's not in your you know your kind of consciousness, it's something you just buy without really considering. Yeah, I'd say that's that's very valid. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And and, I, and and I'm I'm really interested to know as well because we, we, we you mentioned the clothing aspect of it, mm-hmm. and 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 um, Canada Goose has, uh, yeah. is, is in, it's almost infamous for like the fur trim and stuff, and so yes. I was wondering when you bought the jacket, were you aware of, of it being like a real fur trim? Uh, so actually, I didn't buy the buy the jacket. Sure, sure. Um, I, at least to my knowledge, haven't ever purchased something uh, this kind of blatantly. Uh, <laughs> I use the animals this blatantly. Right, um, right. So this was a gift, uh, and yeah. I was not aware at the time. Um, oh, and then, of course, after the fact, did some research. And I actually usually don't have the fur collar on because of that. <laughs> um, it's so removable, something you think about. It's something that I think about often. Yeah, and I've had conversations about it. It's not something that I shy away from. Good but you. yeah, does it make you feel uncomfortable thinking about it in the same way that that foie gras made you uncomfortable and stopped you from buying it? Yeah, for some reason, no. And I'm not. I'm not sure why that is. Um, I also grew up hunting, and so I know the fur is coyote, and I know that coyotes are kind of pests of of nature um, in some ways, depending on how you think of it, uh, and that they kill other wildlife that, for whatever reason, we deem more worthy of life perhaps so that's interesting so i don't want to keep you for much longer but do you think yeah. that, that 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 what you drew on then was quite interesting it was almost like a, a, a and a, it was like we draw distinctions between certain species of animals right do you think those distinctions are somewhat arbitrary um i think probably in the grand scheme of things yeah um yeah it's interesting that we do but i think they are somewhat arbitrary do you think you could kill the animal an animal yourself uh me personally uh Probably not. Yeah. No. Yeah. And, and if we couldn't do it ourselves, then why is it acceptable to pay for someone else to do it on our behalf? I mean, yeah, that's a yeah, good point. It's a good point. Probably, uh, uh, do you think that behavioral traits that from our ancestors should set a moral precedent for what we do today? Interesting. No, I don't think that's true. But I also don't think that um, it's. Fa- I don't think it's fair to suggest necessarily that um, simply because 
of the I, I don't think that, that a concept of what something was naturally made for yes. is is all that relevant right because you might okay. say that the leaves of a spinach tree are really not made to be like eaten right the leaves okay. are supposed to be for photosynthesis so maybe right, we shouldn't right, eat spinach right. yes. or you know that it, it, these rocks weren't made I mean I don't know it, I understand the point, I, yes. in, in that case I, I'm not sure that we can um, I guess what is natural isn't always what is relevant, right. but when, when, when a behavior that causes, um, has a victim involved, the, the issue of whether or not that exploitation is justified should be questioned. And I think the, and for me, the reason I ask that question is not to, is not to maybe ask whether being naturally cause being moral or immoral, right, right, right. but is more to draw the, the line of, of saying, well, just because we've always done something doesn't mean it, it should be set as a standard for, for a contemporary society. Fair enough. No, and I, I don't think that's what I'm arguing at all. Yeah. And I, I do think we need to be very deliberate about the, the decisions that we make. Um, but I'm not, I'm not sure that like considering the um, considering the lack of information that we have, in, sen in the sense that like you know we don't really know what it we don't I don't think we understand consciousness well enough. I don't think we understand animal psychology well enough to suggest necessarily that um, that a re that you know and, and and the way that I see it like the relationships that that my ancestors have with their their animals is not like it's not demeaning. I don't think and I, I mean and, and 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 going back to the moral issue that yes. we were talking about before. Yes. In what sense is it um, diminutive to animals to treat them in this way? I, I, I don't know. I mean, I, I'm, I'm actually very uncomfortable saying that that's what um, that relationship looks like. And maybe um, it, it's, 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 a, it's a reimagination then of what it means to, to um, relate with the animal world in that way and, sure. and what it means to relate with nature. Sure. Um, but do you think how we use, I guess before, ancestrally, when it was a necessity, it was somewhat more symbiotic, but in a modern society where A, it's not a necessity, and B, it's, it's, it's industrialized to such a scale, then that, that kind of natural harm, or that, that natural harmony with, with the world is, is somewhat no longer there. And so oh, Interesting. But I think, um, yeah, I think maybe that's something that we should be more deliberate about. But I think yeah. the movements that we are seeing towards more, these sorts of more productive relationships, whether, I mean, obviously these are small steps, but like, sure. you know, cage-free farming and, and, right. and those kinds of things. Like, you know, obviously I don't think we, we are necessarily making, um, I don't know that we're like coming to better terms with what morally is right or wrong because I don't know. To be honest, I feel like on this issue, there's there's a lot of ambiguity um, in terms of what um, what we decide for for our relationship with the animal world. And I think people. I think I think my my final point. I, I do have to run. I but, understand. Um, yes. I think my final point was that people just have to be comfortable with. I think I think maybe the the paradigm of like anything that you do, anything that you eat, like you should feel comfortable doing to the animal that produced it, or anything that you you know anything that you eat in general, like whether it's a tree or whatnot. Like if you feel like you would actually feel bad cutting down a tree, then you should not you know use products that um, that that prom that would promote that sort of behavior. And so maybe maybe that that's the ownership and the um, the responsibility that we should see is that you know try to try to try to um, to view that when you're sure. and so I guess just the final part I'd make because I, I really understand you need to go is yeah. is we use that word relationship and used used, used that a few times about yeah. an animal relationship but a relationship uh, it, it contains a uh, two or, or several parties but both parties are, are consensual and mutually agreeing in that sure, relationship sure. Yeah. but the animals that we exploit are not, are not agreeing to be used and they're still not agreeing to be taken to slaughterhouses and even in the oh, case sure. of dairy and egg laying hens they're all still taken to that slaughterhouse and so the final point I'd leave you on is if, if you're a vegetarian for maybe moral considerations then to be I guess to be consistent dairy and eggs still fit into that moral consideration of animals sure, being sure, killed sure, and yeah. the final question I'll ask you then is what do you think is higher value taste or life taste or life um, yeah, I would say I would say I would say life is more um, is more valuable. Yeah. Well, sure. thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Yeah, Have it was a great, great to talk day. To you. Yeah, I thank really, you. Really enjoyed that. Yeah. And so, what do you think has higher value, taste or life? I mean, it's definitely life, but that's two of them. <laughs> do you think that good. somewhat juxtaposes our actions though when we when we buy the product and in doing so take the life? I mean, uh, yeah, yeah. Let's see. Just yeah. I I won't keep you any longer. <laughs> I appreciate <laughs> it. Uh, Have a nice you, day. Thank you so thank much you, for the conversation. Yeah, yeah that's uh, yeah, really interesting. Yeah. Good. I hope. Yeah, I hope you find it interesting. It's thought provoking, at least, right? Yeah. That's, I have to yeah think about it more. But yeah, have a little think about it. Yeah. See how you feel. And yeah. Do a bit of research and see what you come up with. Okay. Well, thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Thank have a great so day, much. man. Yeah, I appreciate it. Yeah. Bye. Do you think that veganism is something that people should be considering on a, on like an ethical level? Absolutely. Yeah. And I mean, I I think that something that is important to 
that I've found is important to point out to a lot of people and this was part of a conversation that I had with my mother after which she also like considered you know veganism and has like transitioned more towards it um, is that it you know if 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 the 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 if the sort of moral consideration of, of treatment of animals, you know, maybe doesn't appeal to somebody, there's also the fact that, um, you know, workers in, like, in animal agriculture right. are heavily exploited. Right. Um, they work under terrible conditions. Yeah. So in essence, what uh, the, I guess the, 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 the conclusion could be made that if, if we, even if we value humans within our moral consideration and not non-human animals, yeah. we would still be logically and morally obliged to be vegan purely because of the human exploitation that occurs as well. Absolutely. And yeah. I think that's a really valid point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Completely well, agree with um, you there. <laughs> thank you so much for the conversation. Yeah. I, I really appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, it was such that an was, honor to talk to you. Yeah, likewise, yeah. man. Yeah. I appreciate it. was great that. meeting you. Yeah, likewise. Yeah. Have, a, have a great day. You know? yeah.